everyone. Um, first, thanks for all the wonderful comments um, about, which I guess now is called the um, fall or autumn leaf uh, Dutch pour. <laughs> I had, didn't intend for it to be that way, but um, that's what it turned out to be. Um, which, and I hope you can see this, I think it's drying very nicely. I, I really, like I say, I like the way this one turned out. So, what I thought I would do is, uh, this is on a 8x8 um, eight eight canvas, and I want to do a slightly larger one, so I'm doing a 16x20, and uh, just see how it turns out. Um, I've never done a painting video before, so please bear with me. Um, appreciate it. Um, the colors that I used, uh, Americana, Deco Art, Metallics, the gold. I really like this. It's very, very thick. Um, I did mix for the orange and the red. Um, I used Cadmium Red Light Hue. And I also added um, some of the metallic orange. And I did a combo with the, the red as well. Um, I used um, Master's Touch um, Crimson Red and Artist Loft um, Metallic Red. Uh, I like adding, you know, in some instances, not just using straight metallics. It depends on what I'm doing, but um, the metallic red it just didn't have... You know, it just wasn't as nice a red as, as the crimson. So I added those together. And um, for mixing, especially for the Dutch pour, I wanted it to be, um, you know, it's supposed to be pretty fluid. So I use a, um, and I don't measure, but a... Um, one to three ratio of paint and um, and Floetrol, and then add some water. You, know, you can just kind of feel. I mean, there's lots of people out there doing Dutch pours, and so they they have um, some good info on that, and that's when I gathered my info. So anyway, to get started, um, I've already got my canvas prepped. And I'm going to start making my my little petals. Add the red down first. Try to get this kind of centered here. And I usually like to add like five petals. And I want to, of course, it'll start going towards the middle but I like to leave that center there instead of having it touch. So let's see if I have enough paint there. I probably need to add a little bit more because this is a bigger canvas. If you're watching this, I was okay with the results. <laughs> so anyway, we will we'll try this. Got to try things at least once in life, you know. All right, that's probably way too much paint. All right, um, I'll add the orange. This one feels a little thicker. I've been trying to thin it down, but I mean, it's still, I think the metallics actually give it a good feel to it too and makes it a little more um, liquidy, if that's a word. <laughs> so, Add that in there. Okay. Missed my mark at that point. And some there. Last one. All right, so we got a nice looking flower going on there. And for the last, then I'll add the, the gold. Stir this up a little bit, and that there, 
And then I'm going to go back in a minute and widen that, that black in the middle. I don't know if it helps at all, <laughs> but it's just the way I like it. And okay, and I'm dribbling everywhere. All right, so I've got that, and a little bit of black. If I can get it in the middle here. Like I say, just to widen that up a little bit. There we go. All right, and then I will pour my black around the outside. I hope, my, and I apologize, I know this is not the greatest setup for a video, but um, I hope you, you guys can see this okay. I'll take a look afterwards and hopefully it's okay. Hard to see black on black how much I've got there, but I think I think I have enough. Um, okay, so now and I use a combination of heat gun and um, a torch, which I just got a couple days ago. So I'm gonna pop some of these bubbles. Okay, um, now, so I'll, I'll take the hair dryer. I like to try to gently move that paint towards the center and um, not go completely crazy with a hair dryer. So um, forgive the noise. use the heat gun for a second and then I'll blow it the other way. I do love how that gold is coming up in here and stuff so all right here's the moment of truth though. <laughs> so <laughs> um, there we go. second let things kind of settle I like the this around here I need to move this out a little bit more for petals but it's got some nice lacing going on let me see if I can uh, I can fix that Oops. Oops. turned it off Looking um a little bit better. Let me get my let me get my heat gun and it does have some really nice lacing effects going on here. I don't know if it's as oh sorry I shouldn't talk with the <laughs> Thank you. 
Sorry, I was talking with a heat gun on. Um, yeah, it has some really nice lacing. I'll try to... I'm going to let this settle for a second, and then I'll bring you guys down for a close-up. Um, but I like it. I, I like it a lot, I think. Um, so I'm actually going to use the the torch. I'm getting used to this thing, but it, it seems to bring up some more cells. I do like the heat gun. So uh, let me try that. I'll use it in a few areas here. Especially in the middle. Maybe to bring up, yeah, some of that. Oh, I think my heat gun is... I'm not sure what it's doing here. Yeah, again, I've I'm, I'm been playing around with this, so I've just been um, doing a combo. Yeah, I like that. Um, so, be interested to see what you guys think. Again, I've never done a video, so I thought, well, I would give it a try. Let me see if I can um, pull this off here so I can bring you down. And um, take a look at some of the highlights. So I'll try to move that light it's kind of a glare but you can see it's really faint but there is that petal and it does have you know that lacing that's coming across which I just love um, that's why I like that the Dutch pours I'm getting you know I've been practicing like crazy but you know it's like anything with this you gotta keep keep at it so um, but yeah, it, um, yeah, there, that's really pretty. I like this, this middle section here too, where the gold bumps up against the, the black and everything. So, um, anyway, again, thanks for all your kind words and, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.